virtual reality is set to make a splash in 2016 and its ripples in the tech market will only grow as time goes on, according to a new study. Virtual reality device sales will hit 14 million units worldwide in 2016, providing a strong launch point for the category, according to data released Tuesday from the Topology Research Institute, a division of research firm Trend Force. Even though few will be sold this year, the firm expects sales to rise to 18 million units in 2017 and 22 million by the end of 2018. In 2020, 20, sales could reach 38 million units worldwide, said Trend Force. Virtual reality, or VR, has become a buzzworthy segment of the tech industry as major companies like Facebook-owned Oculus, HTC, Samsung, and Sony all dive into the emerging market. Virtual reality devices, typically headsets, immerse users in three-dimensional worlds, letting them look around and feel as if they're in another place. In Initially, the chief use for virtual reality is expected to be gaming. Virtual reality games require less resources to produce than virtual reality movies, according to Trend Force. First-person games in particular can be ported to VR devices with some modifications, the firm said in a release Tuesday. The relatively low costs and minimal time requirement thus will be strong incentives for game developers as they will become major content providers for VR hardware. Last month, HTC marketing chief Jeff Gaddis said that 2016 will be critical for the VR industry. HTC plans to have its own Vine virtual reality headset on store shelves in 2016, though it may launch later this year. When it does launch, the Vine will face a slew of competitors, including the highly anticipated Oculus Rift and Sony's Project Morpheus. Several other companies also also plan to soon offer virtual reality products. Since gaming will be the first major application for VR, easy access to video games that gamers actually want to play could prove critical. Last month, Avi Greengard, an analyst at Current Analysis, said in an interview that games will need to justify an investment in devices that promise to be expensive.